A woman was at Dick's Sporting Goods, and she was inquiring about uh, buying a number of boxes of ammunition, and it led to her being investigated in America. Wait a minute, just second buying amendment Buying ammunition? Rights. She didn't even buy it. Just asking about buying ammunition, she was being investigated. Uh, maybe there's maybe there's something about her that that scared them. Let's bring up a picture. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's probably what it is. She's brown. She's brown, so she was immediately investigated despite the fact that she didn't even buy the ammunition. So her name is Sim Senga. She's a 24-year-old fireman, uh, firearms instructor from <laughs> Fremont who supposedly that's a responsible gun owner right there. She's even teaching people. She asked about buying eight boxes of ammunition for her military-style rifle, referring there to an AR-15. Two days later, police visited her home for questioning after the store employee alerted them. Because hmm. that store employee has been taught by every political speech given by a Republican candidate over the past six months that you should fear and distrust every Muslim person around you. And if they do anything suspicious or even something that you in your hyper-scared 24-7 state find to be suspicious, you should turn them in, even if it's uh, concerning rights that you say you would die to protect. But they should be So she only bought an exercise mask. That's it. She only bought an exercise mask. Now, of course, I've said this all along. Second Amendment uh, is not for you brown people. No. Uh, it's, it's for good uh, white Americans. Uh, the way, uh, if you want re reasonable gun control in America, you have brown people who uh, request guns, get guns, get ammunition, and publicly display them like white people do. All of a sudden, everybody's interested in gun control. Yeah. You know, like, if imagine if the federal government uh, was looking into Clive and Bundy's guys every time they bought ammunition and went to their home with cops that were armed and said, hey, what did you do? They didn't yeah. even buy that. She didn't even buy it. She didn't okay, buy it. Well, you, oh, my second amendment right. The government's coming for my guns. Enough for my cold dead hands. Right. But by the way, she's training to be a cop. Right? Uh, so but no. Sleeper cell. <laughs> okay. None of it matters. She says, um, I don't know if it's my skin color or that I'm Indian. Um, I got Bad news for yeah, you. It's your skin color. That's probably okay. Yeah. Uh, she said, "I'm I'm not a Muslim, but even if I were, that's no reason to call police to my home instantly." She's very reasonable about the whole thing. When yeah. she should feel like she's living in a police state. So we have uh, some video of her uh, being interviewed after being investigated, and and again, just look at how level-headed she is about the entire thing. When look, she's born. At, she's gonna say she's born and raised here, and she's being treated like she is an enemy of the state. But you're gonna see that in this video. I don't know if it was my skin color. I don't know if it's the way I look. I'm sick. I'm Indian. I was born and raised in America. I'm a citizen here. Um, I'm not Muslim. But if I was, even if I was, I don't think that that's grounds for them to call the police on me instantly. I feel like I was racially profiled. Um, I have tons of friends who are both law enforcement officers and normal citizens here, and they purchase ammunition all the time in bulk um, before the San Bernardino shooting and after that incident as well. And they've never been questioned before. Um, they've never had the police show up at their house before. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you're asking us to be consistent uh, because we're for gun control, no problem, can do. Uh, so if anybody comes to buy eight boxes of ammunition, if it was up to me, I'd do a lot of background checks. Mm -hmm. I don't care if they're white, brown, Asian, I don't care at all. And then they say, hey, let me get that exercise mask. Let's do another background check. <laughs> okay. I think, I think I've seen a couple people at the gym with exercise masks. It's something to do with oxygen or something like no, that. No, no, no. I talked about this in one of the old school episodes. There's a guy in our gym who does it who happens to be African American. I call him Black Bane. <laughs> okay. These things are. This is the moment of your redemption. And I'm like, all right, dude, all right. I learned to bench press in darkness. <laughs> I was born in it. Okay, so if somebody's coming to buy a Bane mask and a lot of ammunition, I, I, I don't wouldn't go to their house. I wouldn't go into mm -hmm. their, you know, in, into their place of business. That's not the right way to do it. And it implies guilt when the cops come in, especially if they got you from your place of business. That yeah. would have been worse. This was her home. But then the neighbors can see, et cetera. But would I do a ton of background checks? Hell yeah, I would before I gave them all that ammunition or yeah. all those weapons. Yeah. So if they were consistent about it, it would make a hell of a lot more sense. Yeah. But as it stands, we knew it. The Second Amendment, I mean, it doesn't say it. And on the other hand, it does say well-regulated militia. And they ignore that. Yeah. But they write into it, we meant for white people. Yeah. Which, yeah, by the way, amazing. if I should, you know what? Can I just say really quickly? It that it actually was part of the Second Amendment. We've talked about this before. It, it, 
In the north, they had militias that were basically the cops of that community. In the south, the other word for militia was the slave patrol. Now, it says in the amendment that the people's rights to bear arms shall not be infringed. That's the second half of the amendment. But they didn't mean African American people. Their yeah. rights to own weapons were severely, severely infringed. Yes. They meant no, white people are allowed to have guns if they're in a militia to make sure that they kill black people if they try to escape. Yeah. So that was the point of the second amendment.